Hello fellow players. The year 2020 was great. In Pavlov VR. I started playing Pavlov more often as soon as shit hit the fan and pandemic started. Yet little I knew about what is ahead. And. It was fun. From the beginning, I pretty much sucked. However no matter what, I found it convenient to play with people I did not know and who cared mostly about shooting at me and killing me. Which was anyway what I was trying to do to others too. If you have not played Pavlov yet, let me put it this way. Or you know what? Let's hear what one of the players had to say about what Pavlov is about during one of many gameplays. This isn't a Counter-Strike game, it's just like, they put the Counter-Strike map. It's kind of cool, they'll have like the, the dust, but they'll have like the shitty graphics too. As this game is in VR, you basically need to hold the guns, reload ammo and look around pretty much as in any other shooter, but with your own body. This is actually the best part. The worst part is that you need to learn to control your muscles again but now with objects in virtual reality. Which means, a lot of practice. You got to learn how to hold each of the guns and rifles, how to throw grenades, how to shoot through the scopes and especially, how to reload the weapon. Once your magazine is empty. You can clearly see it was difficult especially those times when the heat of the fight got closer. Once you master the basics of reloading most of the pistols and well no rifles, you get to the heavy weapons and complexity of the task will become extremely difficult. Especially during the fight reloading your heavy weapon can be so tedious that it is easy to forget the last part ending up being shot or even worse. Once you master the reloads you will be almost halfway to the level of comfort for regular casual gaming. So keep it up! To make the gameplay more fun, there are different game modes pushing players to act more cooperatively or on the other hand, more berserk against each other. For example, if you play game mode called Search and Destroy, one team will end up carrying the explosives which needs to be planted on one of checkpoints before opposing teams discovers it and disable the bomb. As the bomb has got the keypad and little display showing the time and code to enter, this can be another surprisingly trick task to perform while fully geared up with both hand carrying a weapon. And sometimes in the middle of heavy fights. Have no worries however, there will be always buddies on your team ready to help you to figure it out. The number that's on the display. <laughs> you, have, you, have to, you have to type in the number that's on the yeah. top left. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just try it. Yeah. Take take the bomb, and then you have to type in the number at the top here. Yeah. The eight. Eight. Yes. Zero. Zero. Seven. Yeah. And then you hold it to the. Oh, you can only do that at the bomb side.
Another quite challenging game mode at first but rewarding in form of quick weapons practice would be a gun game. Each time any player manages to kill another player, weapon changes into next one of the cycle starting from rifles, then to SMGs and heavies ending up with pistols and back to rifles again. It can change game difficulty each cycle of weapon a little bit depending on how familiar one is with each particular weapon. <laughs> Outside of standard game modes such as Search and Destroy, Team Deathmatch and Deathmatch, Pavlov is full of random mini-games that players came up with using game physics. Revolver-only games are also quite popular as they bring slow down of game speed and allow aiming for better precision. Your simulator. You wanna play Russian roulette with a deagle? Can you start? Ah, Notorious go? Russian roulette can be played with revolvers using only one bullet inside the cylinder, thus not knowing when the weapon fires. Another popular oh, mini game is yeah. Hot Potato. We play Hot Potato. Yes, Hot Potato. The rules are simple. Player throws a grenade in the middle of the room or to another player, and he pass it further until the last player is no longer able to pass it away. Okay, yo, hear me out. Yes, I will drop this drag. You have three seconds. One, two. Generally speaking, Grenades became already a mini-game of its own with a lot of solo or group fans. Pavlov is multiplayer game powered by community. During its existence many came up with ways how to make gameplay more fun with use of custom game modes and maps. Mimicking current FPS multiplayer trends like Battle Royale. Another recently popular mode is Zombie Survival Game, where a group of players survives waves of danger infected and attacking the players with bare hands. Each wave is stronger with more and more zombies while players are offered better weapons in order to be able to survive.
Let's have a look on some technical details of all the weapons Pavlov had to offer before new release early in 2021 and brought some old World War II weapons into game. Weapons are organized into categories such as single-handed revolvers and pistols which are mostly semi-automatic with some burst capabilities. Heavies are group of double-handed weapons using shell ammo or heavy calibers. Heavy caliber rifles usually comes with attached scopes or have an option to get one. These weapons are the most fun but may be that effective in any situation. One of the SMGs might be a quick choice for fully automatic lightweight weapon that may be lacking the cadence but can be achieved early in the gameplay with just a little money. Unfortunately, they mostly does not come with armor-piercing ammo so killing other players takes extra time. That however is not the case for the rifles category weapons where most of the weapons are killing targets fast with some rifles even heaving armor piercing ammo that can shoot through the glass and thin materials. Most of the rifles can support attachments such as scopes, silencers and grips for better recoil. So choose wisely and get ready for some good action.
I didn't, hey, I didn't kill anybody the last time. I didn't do that. Somebody else did that. I was the first one to die. I did that. I did that. Don't do it again. 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 I'm watching. <laughs> Lenin, go, go, run, move those feet. Rush, давай, давай. Well, you know what, this you song is a total fucking banger. 
Holy shit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you know how to plant the bomb? And why? Hmm. You just got the bomb. I got it. I got the bomb. Where are you? Have bomb. Plant the bomb. We don't where, have where, bomb. Where, where, where? Hey, you got the bomb. Plant the bomb. Where? Go safe. Go hey, to the come, safe. Follow me. Safe? Yeah. Okay, here we go. <laughs> sorry, sorry, man. That was, this was a disaster. I didn't know my stuff. That was holy cow, you know. But now I know where to find the bomb. Yeah, good. Come on. Good job, man. Who do it? High five, come on. 